particle is in a central force of central field of force then how we are going to write the equation of motion using hamilton's equations we will see so particle is moving in a central field of force okay so now we have to write the equation of motion for the particle using hamilton's equations so for any object which is in motion to write the equation of motion first we have to consider the hamilton's equations pj dot is equal to do h by do q j the first thing next one is hamilton's function h is equal to p j q j dot minus l the third one is lagrangian function t minus v that means we need kinetic energy and potential energy and we have to also measure the p j value so these four uh, equations are required to write any equation of motion for any object okay so if the particle is moving in a central force field okay for that one we have already uh, seen in the lagrangian equation of motion when the particle is moving in a central force uh, what will be its kinetic energy we have derived it half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square because it is moving in a angular motion it is moving in a angular motion r is the position vector and if it is moving from position 1 to 2 theta is the angular separation so the kinetic energy is a combination of polar coordinates half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square is the kinetic energy and potential energy we can consider it as a v of a r so therefore the lagrangian function l is equal to half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square minus v of r okay so that means here the equation of motion we can write in terms of position coordinate and in terms of theta angular separations also okay so here we are considering two generalized coordinates to write the equation of a motion so first we can write the equation of motion in terms of position coordinate that is minus pr dot is equal to dou h by dou r now h is equal to pr into r dot minus l now l value we have but pr we don't have so pr is equal to do l by do r dot so if you can write do l by do r dot from the equation okay l this value so what is the equation value we will get half m into 2 r dot so that is equal to m into r dot so we got this one so we have pr value so now if you can write the full hamiltonian function what will be the equation mr dot into r dot minus half into m into r dot square plus r square theta dot square minus of minus and plus v of r so that is equal to we will get half m r dot square minus half m r square theta dot square plus v of r okay now from this one minus pr dot is equal to dou h by dou r so this one is not having r term this one is only having the r term so we will get minus half m theta dot square into 2 r plus dou v of r by dou r so what is minus pr dot we can write dou l by dou r is equal to minus half m theta dot square 2 r plus dou v of r by 2 r 
of half cancel and if you can write dou by dou r of l function so here l is nothing but l is in this one you will get only half m theta dot square into 2r sorry Okay. What is PR? Dot means we can write DPR by DT. So minus D by DT of PR is nothing but MR dot. So that is equal to minus MR theta dot square plus dou V of R by dou R. Okay, so from this one we will get MR double dot is equal to MR theta dot square minus dou V of R by dou R. So this equation shows that if you can see here this is the total force acting on the particle in and central force is equal to this is the force acting due to the central force plus centrifugal, centrifugal force. Okay, so hope you have understood. We are, it is a combination of total force is equal to central force plus centrifugal force. So if we can derive in terms of theta, the same equation of motion, if we, now we have written in the form of position coordinates, if you can write in the form of uh, uh, theta, okay, minus P theta dot is equal to dou H by dou theta. Okay, now H is equal to P theta theta dot minus L. So P theta is equal to dou L by dou theta dot. What is L value here? We have already derived now. What is L value here? You can see half MR square, half MR dot square plus R square theta dot square minus P of half m r square plus half m r square theta dot square minus v of r. So p theta is equal to what we the we get we have m r square to theta dot and we got m r square theta dot. Okay so here we will get m r square theta dot into theta dot minus half m r square minus of mr square theta dot square minus v of r. Now that is equal to m half m r square theta dot square minus half m r square minus v of r. Okay. Minus of minus yes. Now we got the h value in terms of theta. Now minus if you can write in the equation of motion dp theta by dt is equal to dou by dou theta of h function. Then that is equal to minus m r square theta double dot is equal to dou by dou theta of h. So here in this h term there is no theta term we will get 0. So that implies theta double dot is equal to 0. Okay, so that means the force acting in the central force is nothing but a combination of a centrifugal force and a central force. That means even it is moving in an angular motion, the total force, that means the final equation of motion shows that the force acting on the particle is a combination of centrifugal force and central force. Because of that one only it is moving in a circular motion